welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you don't know my name, it's Zilla. I can't wait to tell you what we're going to learn about today. It's Adam and Eve and the story of creation. This story is so important because it talks about where we came from and how God treats us as his people. Make sure to stick around to the end for a super fun surprise. It's going to be really cool. Okay, well, if you're ready, hi Sage. Sage and I are going to hop right in and we're going to explore the story of creation and Adam and Eve. But first, we have to go to our super cool time machine. So come along with me. But look how big this house is. Okay, yeah. And here's the living room with my super fancy trees and cool fireplace and balcony. I'll have to show you around sometime, but we're on a mission. We have to learn about Adam and Eve. Okay, so you go down the secret hallway and I'm teleported to our awesome basement. It's a cool basement because it's super secretive. And I gotta show you this one thing really quick. Look at that. You get to see the glow squids and we're underground under the house. Anyways, sorry, I'm getting distracted. We gotta go to our time machine so that we can go visit Adam and Eve and look at what creation was like. Here we go. And we're in the time machine room. Oh my word, it's so scary to walk across here, but I can do it. Don't fall off, Sage. Okay, Sage sometimes scares me and I just have to click this one button and... Whoa, we teleported, but where am I? It's completely dark. I feel like I'm floating. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm going to read you the Bible and see what it says. It says, in the beginning, there was nothing at all. Then God created the heavens and the earth. Whoa, look at the heavens. Wow. But everything was still covered in darkness. So God said, let there be light. And there was light. God called the light day and the darkness the night. And that was the first day and the first night. Wow. Then God separated the water from the dry land. That must be what these mountains are. Let's go into the water and see. Because God filled the seas with enormous whales and shiny fish, weeping dolphins and jellyfish and even axolotls. Oh, hey, little guy. How's it going? What a cute little guy you are. Oh, I just love axolotls. I wish I had one for myself. Oh, and look, a puffer fish. Okay, I'll keep reading. <coughs> what was that boy? And a dragon? And a dragon? Wait, God didn't make a dragon. <gasps> oh my goodness, it's destroyed everything. Ah, run. Oh my goodness, we took care of him. But Sage is just joking. There was not an actual dragon in the beginning of creation. Sage, you're such a goober. <coughs> Then God created a beautiful garden called Eden. His garden was for Adam and Eve. God told Adam that he might help himself to the fruit of any of the trees except for one, the tree of knowledge. But Adam became lonely with just the animals. So God put him to sleep and from Adam's rib, he created a woman named Eve. Adam and Eve became married. Not soon after that, Eve was tempted by a snake. The snake told Eve that the fruit from the tree of knowledge was delicious and God doesn't want her to eat it because it will make her wise like him. So he tricked Eve and Eve took a bite and then she had Adam take a bite too. As soon as they took a bite they realized that they were naked and they hid from Jesus because what they did was disobey him. Jesus then came and found Adam and Eve. They were hiding behind some bushes and they knew he was very angry at them. He banished them from the garden for telling them that they would have to work hard for their own food and clothes. Wow, what a crazy story about how creation started and Adam and Eve. This shows us that sometimes we think we know best and we'll get tempted by outside people or friends, but that doesn't make it right. What we have to trust is God. God knew that Adam and Eve disobeyed and so they were punished. Just like when we disobey our parents or when we disobey God, a punishment comes. But I'm so glad that God forgives us and forgets. I hope you had fun learning this lesson. Okay, now for the super secret part. We are going to explore what the Garden of Eden might have looked like. It's going to be so fun. So let's go. Whoa, look at how big the tree of knowledge is and look at all these pretty colors. Wow, it's so fun to glide around this. Look at me go. Oh my word. This is awesome. Okay, let's explore a little bit on foot. That must have been the gate. Okay, and there's a cool shack here. 
Wow, this is so much fun. This is so cool. Look at these lily pads. I'm gonna jump across them just to see if I can do it. And made the jump. Okay, I'm good. All right, let's see what this elevator does. I think this is an elevator. I'll press this button. Whoa, oh my goodness. I'm at the top of the tree of knowledge. Look at these colors. That's amazing. Wow, I'm so high up. I don't wanna, oh, I'm so scared. Okay, okay, I'm gonna keep running. There's a lot of stairs here, okay. Let's keep going. Oh my word, and more stairs and more stairs. This is crazy. I'm getting so tired, but this is so much fun and so high up. Look, I'm in a cloud. Oh, wow. Okay, and I think I'm almost made it. To I made it to the top. Yeah, oh, wait, there's another staircase. Okay, I just jumped over. And I think I'm gonna jump down and see, oh my word, I'm flying through the clouds again. Look at how amazing this is. What a beautiful garden that God made. Well, that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed this super secret surprise and getting to explore this awesome garden of Eden with me. Also, if you liked the video or learned something new, be sure to subscribe so I can make more videos just for you. Thanks so much.